Hello, folks. You are welcome to this edition of the Jam Helper series. In this edition, we are going to teach you how to go about the charm change of institution process. Now, many students want to change their institution probably because they have had a change, they have a change of uh, mind as regards the institution they filled while registering for uh, the jam. Why some might have other reasons why they truly want to change their institution. No matter what the reasons are, the process of carrying out this is the same. This is a, an edition of the Jam Helper series. And in this edition, we are going to help you uh, know, carry out the process. Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I want you to hit the subscribe button because in a subsequent edition, we are going to bring you various questions that are frequently asked and the process through which you can carry them out. You can only get authentic information from John only on this channel. So don't fail to subscribe so as to get uh, notified when a subsequent videos of this edition of the Jam Helper series are published. Now, without wasting time, let's go straight to the process that are required in order for you to change uh, your institution, your course. So the first thing you do is to type www.jam.gov.ng. And once you type jam.gov.ng, it will take you to this page you are seeing, right? And once you have gotten to this page, the next thing you do is just scroll down and you see the Jam service website e-facility click on this once you click on this it will take you to uh, a, a page where you see all the things that are required for you to carry out you can print your result on this page that is uh, your jam uh, uh, portal profile portal you can click your check your result you can go for correction of data admission later printout what we want to do is the correction of data and you see the cost it is just 2500 so you click proceed so once you click proceed it will take you to this point where you need to uh, change whatever data you want to change now in this portal you can change your institution you can change your name your dob date of birth you can also change your gender and your local government whichever problem whichever issue or data you want to change you can do that here or it's advisable that you do all this during your registration because each changes you make cost you 2500 so you see when we tell you during your registration that you should be careful because each mistakes you did you think you do cost you a lot now what we want to do now is it what the change of course or institution if I click that, it will take me to a new page. Now you click click here to what to proceed. Now these are the instructions that are required for you to change your institution. Now you follow these instructions strictly as I will guide you through uh, how to go about this. Now, if you look at this instruction, the first step, the second, the third step, and the fourth step, all to the what the 14th step. This is all what you need to do. Now, to start up this process, you click what? You click here that is requesting for you to what? Click here to begin. Once you click there, it will now take you to a portal. Now, in this portal, all you need to do is to type in your email address. Remember, we did a video on how you can link your email to your Jam portal. If you haven't done that, you need to do that. So that is the email address you click here and the password that was sent to you by Jam when you were when you started off uh, when you you, you 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 linked your email your Gmail address to your Jam profile. So once you type this, you click what you click login. This is the aspect I'm going to take you up to. Once you click login, something will happen. Once you click login, you are going to it will going to is going to log you into this page appears. The next thing you need to do is to click this encircled part that has to do with the correction of 
the data. Now, once you click that page, a drop down will come requesting for you to change your institution. Now, do you see that drop down? Now, once you click that drop down, the next thing you see, it will take you to a page we call the confirmation page. Now, in this payment confirmation page, a transaction ID will quickly be generated for you, and that transaction ID will be displayed on the service screen, and it will also be sent to your email. Now, I want you to take note of this transaction ID and make sure that you keep this reference ID because uh, it will be useful for subsequent transaction. And a copy will be sent to your registered email address. A copy will be sent to your registered email address. That's a copy of the transaction ID, which will be in bold form. Once you have gotten that, you are good to go. Now, once you have gotten that, on that same page where you'll be giving that confirmation or transaction ID, you click on the continue button. Now, on that confirmation page, click on the continue button. And once you click on the continue button, it will take you to a page where you will now have to what to insert your card immediately. Now, once you insert your card, if you wish to use other kind of payments like ATM, cash, uh, cash at the bank or quick teller, you will be required to input that transaction ID. And once you do that, it will know that you are paying for this same service in which that transaction ID was generated. Now, or, or on the InterSwitch payment page, you enter your card details. That is when you are paying with your card. You enter your card detail and uh, you, you enter your card, card detail, your PIN code and the rest, and you click what? Pay button. Now, immediately you pay, the status of your payment will be displayed on my payment section. And it will also be sent as an SMS and an email which will contain your unique transaction identification uh, card ID and payment status to you, the email you registered. And after that, you'll be requested to click what continue to do what you click continue to button to continue. Now, as you continue to take you to that final stage, once your payment is completed, you'll be asked to provide the following things, two things. One, your year of examination, and two, the JAM registration number. Remember, when you completed your registration, you were given a JAM registration number. You'll be required to input that JAM registration number. And once you input, you enter that this information, now an option will be an option for your preferred course or institution will be opened up to you. So in that option, you'll be required to choose your first choice and your second choice. And once you choose that first choice and second choice, all it depends on the availability of that university that you are what you have chosen. If it is available, it will be accepted. Then you click what submit to complete the application process. Once you click that submit, Jam will now process your application. Now take note, if your application is approved, your details will be changed as you requested. Many of you will ask, how do I change my institution? This is exactly the process you need in order to change your, your institution. This is exactly the process you need to go uh, to take when you want to change your institution. You like this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up and comment and also share such video with your friends. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that a subsequent edition of the Jump Helper series you will get to you uh, once they are published. Also, don't forget to hit the, the bell that will notify you when such videos are produced. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to share this video with your friends. See you and uh, watch our subsequent videos.